Hello guys and welcome back to the channel or to the channel if you're new. In today's video I am building a strip mall and I'm only building the exterior in this video and I'm planning on starting a series of like creating the strip mall in like different videos. So I'll do like a bakery in one video, a flower shop in another video, stuff like that. Uh, just because I think it would have been way too long if I didn't do it in chunks and the video probably never would have came out because I would have got too overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how this strip mall turned out. I think it looks quite realistic and fits good into Magnolia Promenade. Another thing is this strip mall is actually for my save file. So if you didn't know, I'm currently working on a realistic save file and we are slowly getting there. And I have all the builds, or at least majority of the builds, up on my YouTube channel. So I will card a save file playlist so you can go and watch that. Or after this video, just click on my channel. I have a full playlist and it's called save file, real, my save file, realistic save file, something like that. You will find it and watch through. I think it's really cool what I'm creating and I think it's so fun. I personally love watching people build for their save files but most people don't really highlight what builds are going in their save file nor really explain the process of creating a save file but I have a full video on how I planned it all, how I'm planning everything. I do updates on my save file and I try to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff and you also wish that people created more videos like that please go check it out I think you'll really like it and um yeah and please subscribe as well if you're interested in that because I'm trying to hit 500 by the end of the month I could be at 500 right now I'm currently pre-recording it's a 24th and I'm pre-recording until the end of the month because I'm going away and I'm so excited I'm going on holiday I won't talk too much about where I'm going until it's finished because obviously this video will come out while I'm there, <laughs> and I care about my personal safety, um, but yeah, I'm very excited to go away, I'm going away with my boyfriend and my family, and I'm just so excited for it, so excited for it. a bit of a break from life, I feel like vacations are just like a break from life, like you can just switch off, you don't need to worry about your future, you don't need to worry about your job, you don't need to worry about anything in life, you can just go and chill the fuck out, and I, I love that. Um, but as you can see now, I'm just putting down all the buildings and painting them, trying to keep them looking somewhat, I guess, matching with each other, but still somewhat unique and interesting. And I think I hopefully did a decent job at that, but you guys let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I really love how this turned out and I love the idea. I love strip malls so much, but my goal for this strip mall is... I want it to be functional as different things. So we have two retail shops. I think we have a clothing shop and a kid's toy shop. But then we have a bakery and cafe, which can be functional as a cafe or retail. Then we have a flower shop, which will be functional as a retail as well. Then we have a club slash nightclub. Don't ask why, but I don't know why. But when I went to Noosa in Australia, they had like a lot of, I guess, shops. But they also had a few nightclubs. And I kind of wanted to do that here. Have a small kind of club that you can go to at night and have it so there's something to do at night as well uh but obviously i just wanted to fill an extra building so i'll probably set this to retail in my save file because it is the one that has the most use because like literally all the buildings except the club can be functional as a retail so i'll set it to retail and then if you want to change it up make it a cafe or club and i'll just like a nightclub and i'll just make sure that they're all functional lot types, so you can just go over and change them. I'm trying, my goal for this save file is to have as many multifunctional lots as possible where you can just change it from like retail to like residential to like cafe to like spa. Just have it be so, so many things can be functional because I hate worlds, are like sometimes it's so hard justifying traveling for one thing. So to have it be multifunctional is perfect and I also love that each lot can have multiple things on it because it makes no sense to have like a 64 by 64 and the entire thing is a spa unless you have like the most crazy spa idea ever that just doesn't work for me I'd much rather build a mall where there's like 20 different things functional and then your sims have more of a reason I also know some people like to play within just their one set world because it's realistic like why are you doing a day travel from Willow Creek to Sulani like how is that even working I'm kind of like that. I don't like doing day trips to like different worlds that wouldn't make sense. Like Newcrest is different, 
but like I don't want to be going to Brindleton Bay or Sulani or Mount Komorebi for just one day because I'm like that doesn't really make sense in my mind I don't I don't like how unrealistic that is and I love playing realistically uh but yeah I am just putting some signage and trying to fill it in make it look very commercialized and very full of life which is something I love to do for commercial lots obviously in real life commercial lots have a lot of signage a lot of advertisement a lot of space for people to exist in and I love doing that for commercial lots in the sims I think it makes it just that much more realistic and I love that. You can also see all the seating outside. That part is where the cafe slash bakery is going. This actually idea originated because I really wanted to create a bakery. Like I was just so, I just wanted to create a bakery. I don't even know. Like I just was really, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I really wanted to create a bakery and I'm so, so grateful that uh, I ended up doing a strip mall because I just think it looks so much cooler than just a bakery and I can add it to my save file. It's funny because I was going through my save file trying to find if I had marked down any spots for bakeries because I have like a full planning sheet, which you'll know if you've watched my realistic save file playlist. It's the first video. Um, and I didn't have a single bakery marked down. I was like, what is happening? But then I saw this strip mall and I was like, oh my gosh, we can add a bakery here because... I'm trying to add at least one of every single lot type in this game because I hate when I'm trying to play and like I want to take my sims to a restaurant and there's just not a single restaurant. There's like freaking 12 worlds or something. Why is there no restaurant? Like it, it makes me mad. Obviously I know it's because Dine Out didn't come with a restaurant type but I hate when save files don't have it either. Like it just is not realistic. So I'm trying to add at least one of every kind of lot type so you can take your sims um, and you don't have to try and bulldoze other lots and... I don't know, it just gets confusing. But yeah, now I'm just doing some landscaping. I cut out a little bit of it, but tried to include a bit. And I'm just trying to, I guess, make a balance where you're interested in the landscaping, but it doesn't get too much. Because I know that landscaping can be boring if it's like for like half the video is just me placing down the same bit of grass. Um, I can imagine that can be pretty boring. But yeah, I just added, I like to do bushes if it's like just a small little slot. But if it's like a bigger one, I like to add some grass and some different kind of plants. I actually got a comment the other day that made me really happy and it was like, how do you do gardens? They look so good. Mine look like messes. And that just made me so happy because why are you asking me for advice? Me. But the advice I told them, and I'll tell you guys as well, is I like to pick two or three different plants. Like you can see here, I picked the grass. I always use that to fill out space. And then I use like the lavender plant, I think that is, and then that pink one. And then I do like that darker one with the white flowers. So I pick like two or three plants and then I just fill that space in. I find if you use literally every plant under the sun in the catalog, it gets messy and looks confusing. I used to do that as well. And it just wouldn't look matching at all. Having just a few plants around the block makes a lot more sense. That tends to be what happens in real life gardens. But, of course, that's just my tip. If you like adding a ton of different plants and you think it looks good, absolutely go for it. It's The Sims. There are no rules. I just got asked for any tips and that's what I gave and I think it's pretty good and it made me really happy that someone asked for, like, a tip because that's cool. <laughs> um, I love helping and I think that's so cool. I've been playing The Sims since 2014 and I only started building, like, two years ago because I used to hate building. So I will gladly help out my fellow... People who think they're bad at building because I'm right here. I get it. I get it. I used to be the exact same. <laughs> um, but now I'm just on to building windows and making it look all, I guess, normal. Is that the term? Normal? I don't know if normal is the term. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to make it look, I don't know. I'll probably change the windows when I go in to actually build all of these builds. But I just wanted to put some windows in for screenshots for like my thumbnail and stuff. Honest, to be completely honest with you guys, I thought it would look ugly if they would just blank buildings um but yeah I'm just like adding a kind of door out to the roof not because I think people will sit out here or come out here hopefully because it's a very small balcony but because that's I just wanted to add like roofing pieces and make it look I guess I don't know I wanted to add root what's it called things on the roof like air cons and stuff like that and then I just put more advertisement on the roof because I don't know, that just feels the most realistic to me. I like that. This building, guys, was actually the worst thing in the world. I originally wanted it to be like a dance club, not a dance club, like a dance studio, 
but the actual shaping is so dreadful. The only thing that I could imagine could fit in here was like a shop and I didn't know what shop I wanted to do, but I ultimately decided a toy shop would be kind of cool. Uh, so that's what I end up doing because let me tell you, the shape is dreadful. I thought it would look cool. I thought adding a unique shape would be cool. I was like, this will be fun. Dreadful. Actually, dr dreadful. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself for putting that shape in. And I'm even more mad at myself for doing the entirety of the landscaping before I did a floor plan for it and realized it was terrible. So it's staying. It's here to stay. If you want to rearrange the landscaping, you do that. But I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I ultimately figure out how to do it. I think the toy shop will look fine. Can put a few displays in those weird little bump outs and then just have toys scattered around and I hopefully don't think it will be too bad. But then I just work on some signage for the bar and club. But downstairs I'm gonna put like a nice bar with a seating area and then upstairs is absolutely gonna be a DJ booth and people getting wasted and dancing. And then there's gonna be like a rooftop bar I think I'll do. Um, I actually don't know if I end up deciding to do that. I don't know. But I put like a little live band stage downstairs as well. I think that'll be really cool. Because I went clubbing the other day and there was, at this bar we went to, there was live music and it was so fun. And I actually hate clubbing, but going to bars with live music is absolutely amazing. So I would much rather be downstairs with the live music than upstairs touching shoulders with people and getting absolutely wasted. <laughs> um... But yeah, then I added a garbage part that I honestly was struggling to find a room for, but I decided this can just be a garbage area for everyone in the strip mall. I'm sure it's fine. I couldn't find room literally anywhere else, but I still wanted to add a garbage area because I feel like that's just the most realistic. I don't know. Um, and then I just, yeah, put down a few more things to make it look somewhat realistic. I don't know. I think it looks good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, and I also put the unfurnished strip mall on the gallery. So if you want the shell of it, you can get that now. Of course, it's all unfurnished because we will be furnishing it through a series together. But I still wanted to put this up for the, the gap up on the gallery if you guys wanted it. Uh, so I hope you don't mind too much. But yeah, that's kind of all I have to say, guys. This is the end of the video. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I post Sims videos every single day. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.